dear students welcome to my youtube channel amarsetti ramadevi watch this full video without skip in this video you have more information for scoring good marks in ssc public examinations so please watch this full video i am sure about this video is helpful for you to know the information about electric current thank you so much for supporting my videos i am always welcoming you for suggestions to better videos so in this video i am discussing about matching of 10th class physical science lesson electric current shall we go to video match the following first current second resistance third potential difference fourth specific heat fifth electric power a volt b watt c ohm meter d ampere and e ohm see this matching you have an idea for something in this video you will match units of these current uh, resistance potential difference specific resistance electric power so what is the unit of current c the units of current is d d is ampere so the unit of current is ampere A resistance the unit of resistance is e e means ohm potential difference the units of potential difference s a volt specific resistance s c ohm meter and electric power the resistance is watt here see the another interesting matching see the first symbol second symbol a is in circle third symbol v is in circle the fourth symbol is like this and the fifth symbol is like this you have an idea for something in this video yeah you recognized a parallel connection b resistance c series connection d ammeter and e voltmeter parallel connection and series connections are types of connections connected in electric circuit and resistance ammeter and voltmeter are devices are the material resistance is the material ammeter voltmeter are the uh, devices they are uh, connected in electric circuits if ammeter is connected in series there is a symbol in these five symbols so let us see the first symbol is b b means resistance and next symbol a a represents the ammeter and v represents the voltmeter and these symbol two resistance are connected like this this connection is called series connection and the fifth symbol is a parallel connection the resistance are in connected in parallel connection and these are the series connection got it here also an interesting matching follow me first electric conductor non electric conductor third fuse four heating coil and fifth filament next a alloy of tin and lead b tungsten c copper d plastic e nichrom electric conductor electric conductor means the material which transfers energy from battery to bulb so in these in these five materials what is the electric conductor c c c is the copper copper is the 
electric conductor. Next, non-electric conductor means non-electric conductor the the material which cannot transfer the energy from battery to bulb. Here the D plastic is the insulator or non-electric conductor. Next, fuse. Fuse consists of a thin wire of low melting point. So here the fuse. A alloy of tin and lead. Next heating coil. See heating coil. What is the answer? A nichrome. The heating element in an electric iron in an alloy consists of 80% nickel and 20% of chromium. The melting point of nichrome is 14,000 degrees Celsius with high resistance which makes this element best for use as a heating element. Next, filament. Filament in a bulb made of tungsten, higher resistivity value and high melting point. Another interest, interesting matching, match the following. P, P is equal to W by Q, second W, third I is equal to VR, fourth V is equal to IR, fifth row is equal to RA by L. Next A current, B electric power, C potential difference, D specific resistance, E work. Here I, I am giving you the formulas also. So first you see the, the first letters. P, W, I, V, Rho. What, what is the word of these symbols or these letters? First, P. P is equal W by Q. P is B. B is the electric power. Electric power is equal to P is equal to W by Q. Next, W. W, you know the W? W is E work. And next, I. I is equal to VR. That is A, current. I, I is the current. And V is the potential difference. And R is the resistance. Next, V. Already I said, I told V is the Potential difference. The formula of potential difference is equal to I by R. I is the current and R is the resistance. Next, rho. Rho is equal to RA by L. R is, you know, the R is resistance. A is the area and L is the length, length of the conductor. So, rho is the specific resistance here is also the another very interesting matching follow me 1 ohm 2 ampere 3 volt 4 watt 5 1 kilowatt a volt ampere b coulomb per second c 1000 joules per second d volt per ampere e joule per coulomb here the ohm ohm is the unit for what do you know yes ohm is the unit for resistance resistance is denoted by r the formula of r is equal to v by i v means potential difference and i means current the unit of Potential difference is volt and the unit of current is ampere. So, the ohm means volt by or volt amp per ampere. This is the answer for ohm. D. Next, ampere. Which letter is stands for ampere? I. The formula of I is equal to Q by T. Q by T. Q is the charge and T is the 
time. So the unit of Q is Coulomb. The unit of T is second. So the answer is B. Coulomb per second. Next volt. Volt is the unit for what? Volt is the unit for potential difference that is denoted by V. V is equal to the formula of V is equal to W by Q. W is the work and Q is the charge. So the unit of work is joule and unit of the Q is Coulomb. So the answer is joule per Coulomb E. Next, next what? What is the unit? What is the unit for what? That is the, it is denoted by P. P is equal to VI. V is potential difference and I is the current. The unit of potential difference is volt and the unit of current is ampere. So the watt is equal to volt ampere. The answer is A. And you know the 1 kilowatt kilo means 1000. So 1000 joules per second. Thank you for watching my video. I will come before again with another new topic with great interest video. Signing off, me Rama Srinivas.